hey y'all listen like i know it sounds so easy like to say oh live your dreams and visualize yada 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 but it is magnificent to like live in your highest and greatest vibration i don't know why god gave me all of these gifts i don't know why god is blessing me the way that god is blessing me but let the good times roll baby what's up you guys it's your girl baby back again and i want to go ahead and bring y'all this quick conversation and it's about you know in mark chapters 10 35 uh, the Bible, it starts with a story where uh, the sons of Zebedee, which are Jesus' disciples, are asking him how they could be placed at the right and the left hand of Jesus Christ on his journey to elevation. And Jesus said, you know, even the Son of Man did not come here to be served and yet to serve other people. And he explained to the sons of Zebedee that you could not at all handle my assignment so no you I, I don't have the authority to place you at the right and left hand of me myself and i and so they walked away with their heads kind of held down or at least what i kind of like take from the concept of, this, of the text and uh when i really read that verse i think of customer service and what it means to be of service to your customer uh, there are certain times, I mean, you guys all are parishioners of, you know, restaurants and you're parishioners of everyday situations where you are encountered with the prospect of customer service. And so either someone's going to give you really good customer service or they're going to be, uh, they're, they're going to not give you the best of their ability because they've got their own hangups about who they are as people instant gratification has ushered us to the point that we sacrifice excellent quality because of the difficulty and time it takes to produce it and in his image. It makes sense that he desires to see his creature mature and maximize our growth. Our current work is to remain the same to the they feel like they don't deserve or maybe they feel like I don't deserve good customer service because they're in a bad way, they in a nasty mood or that's just who they are as people deep down on the inside. Some people just don't have the same level uh, and value of care and integrity for their own selves that you would have for yourself. And so when I read that script and I think about the sons of Zebedee and I think about what they're asking Jesus, you know, uh, the people that were placed on the right hand and on the left hand side of Jesus Christ were two prisoners. They were two, I think it was Barabbas, or Barabbas was freed actually besides Jesus, but there were two men who were also in the Golgotha with Jesus Christ. The Golgotha is simply the pit where he was crucified. And so he's telling the sons of Ebony, like, you don't want to be of service to these people the same way that I'm of service to these people because it's a death sentence. 
I'm going to die. I will be crucified in order to help these people. And so I'm talking to you guys in the concept of, you know, you go to your local coffee shop, you run to the drive through and you're faced with a customer service representative. And if the, if the company has, you know, solid values and solid intention for their, com for their customers, then that customer service employee is going to be outstanding. You know, you think about Chick-fil-A, they are the most outstanding people out there and they're, tra they're trained and they are taught to be this way and happy because that is is their code of conduct that is their mission statement for that business and so I think about that in my own personal life because you are a um, you are your own self a representative of your own personal company your own personal brand you represent yourself every single day and so when I am dealing with customers that I see every single day, because I see customers every day, y'all see customers every single day, the person that you walk by on the side of the road, you say good morning, you know, or the person that you're driving next to in traffic, you let them in if they got, if they got their blinker on, that is your customer and you are serving them. And to be in your highest integrity simply means that, okay, well, you let this person cut in. If they cut you off, you don't go to throwing the finger and you don't get upset with these people because that is not customer service because that's a detriment to your brand if you step outside of your element. And um, today, I had to gather someone in their brand because the way that this person's brand, you know what, I won't even say the way this person's brand was being presented. All I'm gonna say is, is that I know my brand is of the highest integrity and I know who I am as a person. I wasn't trying to prove myself, but at the same time, I wanted this person to see that I could make a, a valid, constructive criticism about the way that they carried themselves because their brand was directly, purposely, purposefully attempting to interfere with my good nature, my ability to do goodwill, good faith, and they were attempting to come out and to step in the way of who I was as a person. And who I am as a person is I am I am on the right hand and the left hand of Jesus. I've been crucified before. I've had people come out there and just, you know, string me up because of the simple fact that they just could because they didn't really because when you operate your own brand, there is nobody that's going to hold you accountable. When you are somebody and you're walking in the faith of the Lord, there is nobody that's going to hold you accountable. Karma will hold you accountable. The Lord will hold you accountable. But other than that, there really is no one that's out there that's telling you not to do something and that's telling you not to operate in a certain type of way. Sarah on the porch, I marvel at what God has done in all our lives. If I could have known him, but I know that I wouldn't have felt so conflicted about a clear, clear announcement to me. To see the woman she is, the family she has, the mother she has become to all her children, and the wife and co-pastor she has become to my son, the And so when I thought about that, I thought about the idea of you know coming at this person and I thought about this because I had to I had to go in there and I had to defend my own brand to this person who lacked the true integrity to move forward in good faith and so I had to use all the good faith that I had to counter their bad faith praise Jesus for making me a better me thank you Lord for dying for my sins thank you God for showing me what peace really looks like because peace ain't this peace Peace and joy lies within me. And the joy I feel for my own life saved your life because I'm here to do my Father's will. 
and he ordained that you could live another day and to God be the glory motherfucker I was born by the river in a little tent and oh just like that river I've been running ever since it's been a long long time coming but I know oh, a change gonna come whoa yes it will confronts Goliath Goliath says I'm a, I'm a I'm gonna kill you and, and feed you to the birds and Goliath and David responds to Goliath and mind you David is, is small he's not as big as Saul Saul was head and shoulders over every man and Saul was the original king David took Saul's place after the Lord took him out of his position David's smaller he's good looking he's a kid and he looks at Goliath who's this huge giant Goliath is a giant in comparison to David and David tells him you come at me with a spear with a javelin and I come at you in the name of the Lord and David slew that giant with a slingshot can I tell y'all something about me I don't actually cuss but this day here Layla What did you take that? I took it a long time ago when you were at Carla's. What does this do? It's loose. It's supposed to make my hair more curly? Yes. Thanks. You can use it for now. I'm simply going to swoop this ponytail to back. How do you use this when you have nails? Use the back of your... That's how your nails are popping off. I see it already. Baby young baby when she sees my face. And so, and it's not about like coming out there and trying to, you know, cause you don't, you should not have to argue every specific little small finite point when you are dealing with people in the real world, when you're dealing with people in their personal brands, because if they want their personal brand to be one that lacks integrity, let them lack integrity. That's not, that's not your problem. That's not your position. That's not for you to try and, that is not for you to try and save their souls because at the end of it all god is god has the last say but it is for you to assert yourself and when there are two or more people gathered then you, that, that are in the alignment with god's will then god's will will be done and so i had shown up in the faith of the lord and i was walking with the father the son and the holy ghost meaning that i came in there with the full authority of god even though there were not two or three gathered with me in in the physical in spirit there were two or three gathered because again the father the son and the holy ghost were with me in that moment and in that moment i was the son i was that physical embodiment of jesus christ i'm not jesus but i'm that physical embodiment of everything that jesus christ represented and so i had the father on my on whatever side the left and i had the the, the holy ghost on the right and i was walking in the authority of the son cusses all the time baby I'm not gonna cuss on this camera right now cuz uh, whatever but at the same time you know a lot of people especially like the 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 pastors of this world they're gonna say oh you a mother pull your skirt down oh you 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 got children oh you shouldn't behave this type of way but as long as you are walking in alignment with what God wants you to do and what God wants you to be it don't matter how you show up as long as you show up in the name of the Almighty God and so I showed up in that in that vibration and when you embody that vibration, there ain't nothing or no one that can come against you. Okay, if God be for you, can't nobody be against you. And there, and make no mistake about it, people know when God be for you. 
if you walk in that right alignment. And mind you, I've, I've walked into places, I walk in there just like this and my shorts is nice and short. And I say it's a little, I, I speak in the, in the vein of who I am as a woman and sometimes a few F-bombs do slip every now and again. But people still know that I represent the Almighty Lord, the God of Israel, because of the way I carry my, myself and the way that I conduct my brand, because I am my own personal brand. I am a representative of the Almighty God, and people see that on you. And so again, if y'all are out there having problems on your job, because some of y'all is having problems on your job, some of y'all is having problems with that raggedy, run-down ass nigga that's got you second-guessing yourself, telling you lies, and making you feel like you are the bad guy when you know for a fact that you ain't done nothing outside of your true character or outside of what God wants you to do. Some of y'all are cowering at the face, in the face of the enemy because you don't really understand what it means to really truly walk in faith with the Lord. And so I'm telling you, I'm not saying to start going out there and, and cover it up and button it up to your, to, your, to your throat because sometimes a little titty ain't never hurt nobody, a little thigh ain't never hurt nobody, a little, a little whatever ain't never hurt nobody. But what I'm saying is even if you are like that, even if you out there on the pole stripping baby, even if you out in traffic and you got some trap music playing, okay, two chains, whoever, I got the left hand on that steering wheel and the right hand on that pussy. how they chose to show up in this world and they have to think about it themselves and so I'm gonna end it on this I'm gonna end it on this because again you keep your personal brand and you walk in the name of the Almighty God of Israel know your name is not Jesus because Jesus is already passed over he's already on the other side but you are Ebony you are I don't know young Ben Frank you are girl Chanel you are Natasha you are all those bad bitches and and and, and down ass niggas that follow me on and subscribe to the family y'all are y'all and y'all are still able to like show up in the best way possible so that you can get the results out of people that you want to get the results out or the, the type of results that you do want to get out of them and so uh in the bible there's a story and i'm ended on this uh and jesus is in this temple and these men come up to him and there's a, a prostitute and she's being uh, accused of adultery now the man the reason why she's getting accused of adultery is because the man that she's sleeping with is married he wasn't getting accused of adultery. I'm sure his ass was with her accusers trying to trying to get her strung up and stoned to death because in those days, a woman that committed adultery, if she was convicted by the Pharisees, then she was sentenced to death by stoning. Now again, the man, we not going that's neither here nor there. His ass wasn't gonna get stoned to death, but she was. And so the men brought her to Jesus and they said, Jesus, what would you say that we would do to this woman by law because of her sins and he said let the first man let the man that has no sin cast the first stone and so as he sat there because before Jesus said that he, he kneeled down into the ground and he started writing something in the dirt with his finger the Bible don't say what he wrote he probably wrote some shit that was like oh this is a waste of my time why are you asking me stupid questions why don't you turn the mirror on yourself but Jesus knelt down on the ground and he began to contemplate he began to gather his words and he began to let the Lord speak through him and when he stood up he asked them let he who is without sin cast the first stone and as those men began to think about their own past Think about their own sins and think about the way that they were showing up to the world they began to slowly but surely trickle away one by one until there was nobody standing there but that whole ass prostitute uh, her getting her money the skin merchant the stripper whoever but her and jesus and jesus said okay so where are your accusers at and she looked around like i don't know he said well uh, you know again i mean they don't accuse you anymore and neither do i go in peace and sin no more and so i'm telling y'all when you come at your enemies 
in the name of the Lord, you ask them about, your, about themselves. You say, why are you handling me this way? Am I showing up to, to you in bad faith? Then why are you returning good faith to bad faith? Why are you giving me bad faith to my good faith? If you ask somebody something like that and they gonna have to think about it and say, well, I'm sorry that I showed up that way. I'll do better next time. Okay, well, bitch, go away and don't sin no more. And if you come at me with this sinful ass bullshit, then you know, whatever. Then you handle it accordingly, but you don't even handle it accordingly because God is gonna handle that. So that's true customer service. That's truly how you service people in this world because not even the son of man came here to to serve himself and his own mission he came to serve the world i don't smoke weed anymore but i have been experimenting with them young edibles and we got some angry earls chamoy and i got some watermelon spears why they gotta be spears though because i'm black it's a 10 milligram of I'll let you know when it kick in. And so if y'all are out there and you mean you're being confronted every single day by people that are trying to accuse you of your sins, but they don't even take a look and recognize the own log in their own eye, then you have a right in the authority of Christ to ask them what gives them the right to look at you and talk to you in that kind of way. What gives them the right to accuse you of being, um, anything less than a child of God when they not even living right. Don't let people walk over you. Don't let people, don't let people, don't let the enemy walk all over you. Cause it's not even about people. These are not people operating. This is the enemy operating through those people. And so the more you do that, the greater you'll become in the, in, in the spirit. And it takes a lot to get there, but I, I guarantee you, if you go back to my old videos, Cause baby was a rowdy bitch. It, it, back in the day, I, you know, I could have been your worst enemy, but I always let the Lord fight my battles for me. You gonna have to let the Lord fight your battles for you. And uh, to a certain degree, letting the Lord fight your battles is you not saying nothing and you walking away. And at other times, letting the Lord fight your battles means that you're going to ask these people certain questions that's going to make them look at themselves. And then they have no choice but to walk away and sin no more. And so I'm telling you, walk in the authority of Jesus Christ. You have every authority to be the best version of yourself, to carry your brand in alignment with the brand of the king. And if people don't like it, because it's not the people that don't like it. If the enemy don't like it, the enemy will have to flee from you and go fucking with somebody else. All right? And so I, I, I pray Godspeed. I pray that you guys find the courage to walk with Christ one good time for the good time. Because if people is fucking with you, you've been walking with God all the time, any old way. You just don't know it. The enemy knows it. You just don't know it. The moment you realize that you are a creation of what God wanted you to be is the moment your life will change.